Well, this time I'm starting Bragg 2002 from my house. Bike's all loaded and ready to go. And yes, I have no stoker. Instead, I put all my stuff back there where the stoker's supposed to go. I'll have them later. I guess it will be quite a sight, but hopefully I'll just surprise people. They'll stare and I'll be gone. And I better get going. It's 9.30. I finally got going, and this is my first rest stop. Haha, <laughs> actually I haven't gone very far at all, I've only gone about a half mile. I had to stop and mail a couple of things. As a matter of fact, you can still see my house. Here on newly repaved Ash Street. Here come these cars, they're going to wonder what I'm doing taking pictures. Okay, let's get going. You see, I live in Forest Park, and you can see why there are trees everywhere. There's a park next to where all these trees are in this median. But soon I'll be on the ridge of the Eastern Continental Divide, which is right up there. And I'll be heading for Mountain View, Hapeville, and East Point. Let's go. Now this is Mountain View, and it's really ought to be called Airport View. So that's what you get to see from it. It's the airport. Comes one in now. while that one lands, we'll zoom back over. You can really see a long way, all the way to College Park. I guess this railroad I'm beside, that's the route of the Nancy Hanks, the old Central Georgia Railroad, now part of the Norfolk Southern System. But unlike the Silver Comet, this railroad's still in use. No passenger trains, but uh, plenty of freight. And thanks to recent development, not only can you see Soapstone Ridge, where 285 crosses it, you really can see Stone Mountain. Yep, that's it. It's a pretty good ways from here. Okay. I'm going to continue along now on the other side of the tracks here. This is US 41, US 19, State Route 3. I'm going to pass the old historic site of Rough and Ready. Head for Hapeville. And for those of you into history, here's the marker. Put your VCR on pause, check it out. Now as I zoom away from it, you'll see there's several other historical markers here. And there's no rough and ready tavern, there's a check cashing place and a restaurant here. Okay, let's move on. I'm standing on the bridge. The Central Avenue goes over I-75. We're coming into Hateville, but just behind me is the Atlanta Main Post Office. That's where everybody goes to pay their income taxes when they're late. Or running late, that is. We crossed over to Fulton County. Hateville's got several important landmarks. One of them is the Atlanta Assembly Plant. That's where they build the Ford Taurus and Mercury Sable. It doesn't look very big. It doesn't look very big, but it's uh, very efficient and world-renowned. You can see the rail cars over there. You can transport the cars. And 
building used to be the Carling Brewery, where they made Carling Black Label beer. It's now a Coca-Cola syrup plant, and you'd never know it. There's no advertising on it at all. Way off in the distance, you can see downtown Atlanta, where I hope to be before this tape runs out. Oh, this is taking a long time. But it's not often I get to take some pictures of my native south side. So let's keep going. We've got one more landmark. Maybe two. And also within sight of the Ford assembly plant is where I got my cycling career started as a commuter. This is St. John the Evangelist Elementary School. Yes, that's where I went. Yeah, you could get some pretty good speed going down there. And of course the church is right next door. It's attached together. They just added on to the back of the school. So this side looks a little different than the way it used to. Okay, one more landmark. Okay, within the other side of the Ford plant is another famous Apeville landmark. This is the first Dwarf House Grill, the original home of Chick-fil-A. As it says right there on the front. I remember passing by here. It was pretty small then, but they've enlarged it and changed it around, added a rear dining room. I guess since Chick-fil-A is a brag sponsor, I thought I ought to get this shot. I'd be really remiss if I did not. So now we'll again continue our tour of the Eastern Continental Divide as we pass by the old Episcopal Church and old Hapeville Train Depot, which is now a museum. And for those of you who have anything to do with Hapeville, I just thought you might get a kick out of seeing the depot. Hey, everybody always wants to know about my bike. I'm going to stop my home video for a moment. What is your name? Jordan. Jordan, it's good to meet you. I'll explain my bike in a moment. I've got a lot of explaining to do, but first I want to mention that this is where the old Georgia Baptist Children's Home used to be. It's now a park, and there's a big building behind there. That's Wachovia Bank, and then Delta has a reservation center nearby. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Here we go. And of course, one of my videos wouldn't be complete without a train here at the start of Virginia Avenue in Hapeville. You can see the old convenience store across the street. Now something different. Yeah, something real different. Salon Central. Huh. That's a new one on me. Yeah, I used to have to wait for the bus forever over there. Now you know why I started bike commuting. Look at what they're hauling. Automobile transport cars. Heading to the Ford plant. Wow, the city artist really got a hold of that one. Huh, no end of train device? All they got is a flag? Well, I don't feel so bad now. That's all I've got. Well, mine's a little different. And I do have a flashing light, but it's pointed up at the sky right now. I've got to find a better place for it. Hapeville is also home to the Teaching Museum South. It's actually the old North Avenue Elementary School building. And inside here they have all kinds of exhibits about the history of education in this area. And they're including a shot of my old school, this Headland High School in East Point.
quite a piece of work here when it comes to remembering the Olympics. I had no idea this was here. Yeah, that's quite a mural. Yeah, that's before it was Turner Field. They even have one of the torches. And the torch relay route, which actually went through Hapeville. Matter of fact, it went through a lot of Georgia. How about that? There's Andrew Young's signature and Billy Payne's too. Andrew Young having been a brag veteran. And I remember the t-shirts that had that logo on there. Yes, it really did happen. We actually had the Olympics. Well, I've moved on to East Point and I thought I'd show you this. This is the start of the Flint River. It's the first time you ever see it as a running stream. It's been kind of controlled a little bit here. Yeah, you know, I'm right on the other side of the fence. Nice mimosa tree. But the location is behind Willingham Square, which is where an old cotton mill once stood, the old Gate City Cotton Mills. Oh, and there's an old car behind Tri-Cities Plaza, old Cadillac. This um, road that we're beside, Willingham Drive, used to be a streetcar right-of-way only. There's no road here, but instead of rails to trails, we had rails to road. It's pretty straight, and very gentle grade on it. So soon I'll cross under the Atlanta West Point Railroad, which joins with the Central Georgia. Go past the telephone company where I used to work. It's the red brick building over there. And head for Atlanta. Well, this is downtown East Point. And it's undergoing some revitalization. Health Center and the new library a few years ago. But the newest landmark is right next to me. It's the new bridge and tower over the Martin Railroad tracks. It's got elevators, but I bet they're not big enough for this bike. And this is where the two freight railroads join together. And of course, we're on the Marta South Line, which I wish I could use right now, but my bike is too big and too heavy. So we will continue moving on. I'll show you the shot of the East Point Marta Station. And again, for you history buffs, here's the historical mark which you see our own cause. Well, it's a responsible cyclist. I thought I probably ought to pick that up out of the road. This is US 29 looking south, and that's Fort McPherson across from me. Can't see very much of it, except some of the old buildings here. Comes another Mars train. And there goes another one. Oh, if this bike was just a little smaller. But that's all right, I'm gonna make it. Well, as another train goes by, I've climbed to the highest point in southwest Atlanta, one of the highest points on this side of the Chattahoochee River. It's 1,072 feet, and I'm in West End. Yes, this is the West End, southwest Atlanta. You may recognize the tower over there. And that's about all I'm going to show you, except that is the, the uh, West End Marta Station. You can see Stone Mountain from one side and Kennesaw from the other. We are up high. All right, on to downtown. Well, I made it into downtown Atlanta, but it sounds like they're doing music to the fountains. Yeah, I'm not the only cyclist here. 
the other is a police officer. Oh, it's still too cool for that. Oh, it's pretty good. I guess that wouldn't be a good time to play in the fountain. That'd be bad, that'd hurt. But yeah, this is downtown. Looking north to Midtown now. We're leaving the ridge of the Eastern Continental Divide and heading to the northwest. The next portion of our yeah, film's more feature narration. show will begin in just a moment. Here at CN Center is right across the street. There's new, more construction going on. They're going to expand the Omni Hotel. And uh, looking back toward the newspaper building. 101 Marietta Tower. And there's where the uh, rock concerts are held, the old Baptist church. They're doing quite a job with this. I've never seen them do this before where they had the uh, music in time to the water. Anyway, I better get going. It's getting late. As we leave, continue on the clock. The park proves to be a good lunch stop. So I've had lunch, I'm ready to roll on. Now the fountain is back to its usual usage. Everybody loves to play in the fountain. One of these days I'm going to have to try that, but I'm always too busy or it's too cold. All right, well, let's get going. We're out on some bricks for a change. Here we go. Well, I'm riding through Northwest Atlanta. This is part of Inman Yard, Norfolk Southern's big rail yard. This is the newer bridge for Marietta Road. This is the view of the Northwest. That's the way I've got to go. CSX has an emplacement over here as well. Off of the distance, you can see the smokestack there at Bolton. Jack McDonough power plant. I'll be heading over that way. It's downhill to the river and then I gotta start climbing. No, this is not the Silver Comet. It's too soon. This is the Chattahoochee River. And uh, I'm very surprised to see that trail. Wish I had it now. This is all I have to cross it on, but there's not too much traffic. I think if I'm careful, I'll be all right. But there is a connection here. You see that railroad bridge up there? That's the rail line. It's still in use at this point, but further on it becomes the line that uh, Silver Comet's built on. Well, not all development is bad. Thanks to this project, I was able to find another shortcut to the start of the Silver Comet. Here I am at Maple Road. And now, Begins the trail portion of my trip. And after the east west connector, I could use a trail. That traffic was bad. Now, better hurry, it says it's open daylight hours only. I don't need to stop. I found a portable restroom. I'm happy. I've still got plenty of water. So it's on to the Silver Comet Depot. That's it. Well, I made it to the Silver Comet Depot and I found Martha. Actually, I found her back at Mavel Road. <laughs> We're talking recumbents here. And uh, I'm really glad to have somebody to ride with. Oh, he's doing. <laughs> Overnight, come back tomorrow. Oh, you're yeah, just coming back here. tomorrow? Yeah, I am. I'm not going to ride next week. Oh, you're not? You're uh, gonna, oh, really? How are you going to miss that? Nah. <laughs> I got too much to do. Oh, geez. But it'll be fun to go tonight. Glad you're here. Missing the Glad hill. to be here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm riding out there. You see, I got my bike over there. I so. saw that. Yeah. So check out your story. Yeah. Oh, you did? It's Good. It's open. open. We will. It's yeah. open. Tell them, you're, tell them you're a purist rider and they'll give you a brag souvenir. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, hope we'll make it. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Wonderful repairman. What's that? You have a great repair. Oh, we do. We're very nice. Oh, that, you know, this guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, that's good. Good. I'm glad to hear that, Paul. All right, Bye. see you later. See you later, Kevin.
Well, we've made it to the Paulding County Chamber of Commerce. Okay. That's a water stop over there. They got a got a water faucet, and they got a Coke machine. I wish it had surge in there. If they still had surge, I'd drink some. <laughs> and I don't normally drink that on bike rides. And they have a restroom. They're really cool bridge leading in here. You can get all kinds of fast down there. Now we've got to go up there. That's going to be hard. But the trail is up there. I don't think you can see it through the woods, but yeah, you can just right there. And as you can see, it's getting late. So what else is new? That happens on all my rides. All right, let's go. Well, we finally made it to the Brushy Mountain Tunnel. Whoa, what a climb. I'm really feeling this ride now. But this is a good landmark. That means we got some good downhills coming up. And I will appreciate them a lot. <sighs> Let's head for Coots Lake. And Rock Mart. Well, I made it just in time. Now they're locking the carriage here, but I'm glad they didn't when I was coming. <laughs> Let's see what the computer says. That's not too bad of an average with a full load. Wow. And that wasn't too off. I figured it'd be about 67 miles. So, almost 69. And there's my time. This is a pretty nice facility so far. And I shouldn't have any problem getting a parking place. And I already found the dream team. And I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. But I might shoot some more. We'll see.